baby and look at him he's doing a dance with what the heck is that bro he's doing magic tricks what the <laughs> look at his camera he's doing magic tricks we are back ladies and gentlemen with the next op matchup in the queso cup playoffs only three teams remain let me hide my webcam to show you their logo strut x team Facing off, and whoever wins this will advance to the grand finals to play against Peru Mania. If you missed the last match, make sure you go check it out. I mean, I just showed you which teams are in this one, so it kind of spoils the results, but it's worth a watch. The ending was incredible. It looked like Strut were going to lose, and then all of a sudden, in the last round of attacks, everything flip-flopped, and Strut were able to steal the victory at the last second. But let's see who's gonna win between XBB, between XBB, between X Team and Strut. Fifty thousand dollar prize pool on the line and a golden ticket at stake right now. And we got XBB bringing us Valkyries. <laughs> this guy's crazy, man. He loves his Valkyries. Absolutely loves them. Sneaky goblins take out the town hall early. He's trying to get the warden walk to snipe this air defense here on the bottom side of the base. Down goes the air defense, and we can start the rest of the attack. Queen, ooh, which way is he want? Interesting. He wants to go take out the town hall. Sends a couple Valkyries, sends a siege barracks. What the? I mean, we already took out the town hall, but he's gonna send everybody into the town hall chamber. Very interesting, very. King Pekka going back inside. This queen taking a lot of damage. The healers are not on her. Might need the warden ability. He's going to go with the queen ability instead. Jump spell to the core. Okay. Rage everybody up. That giga poison is still up. No, that's his own poison. We pop this warden ability. Yes, I think he missed the king with it though. He did. He missed a lot of Valkyries too. We got the royal champion on the top side. The Valkyries, the queen, the warden smashing through the middle of the base. The healer's still keeping a lot of people alive. Royal Champion on the top side with some more Valkyries and the P.E.K.K.A. They're getting some good value. Queen finds the Tornado Trap. She doing a little disco dance action. We got a freeze on the Eagle Artillery. One more freeze still to use. Queen beating on a wall. We got the Royal Champion ability. Dude, this looks smashed. XBB with the Valkyries. Woo, baby. And look at him. He's doing a dance with... What the heck is that? Bro, he's doing magic tricks. What the... <laughs> Look at his camera. He's doing magic tricks as he gets the three star. LOL, what a guy. What a way to start this match. Boom, the captain for Strut is in with a little law low action here. Against XBB's base, XBB just had an amazing Valkyrie three star. And here we go. Skelly Donut going for the scatter shot, going for the clan castle. He's nailing those invisibility spells. Third one is in. He might be dropping them a little too early. But it should work out. Yes, he gets both the scatter and the clan castle. Nicely done. Okay. King on the south side. Queen to walk to the left from 6 o'clock. We got an ice golem with the king. Wall break him in. Use a headhunter Valkyrie to help support. Valkyrie. A royal champion to help support. He does have a Valkyrie, but hasn't used her yet. Queen will walk left. And that's a pop ability or something for the enemy queen. Maybe not. We use a skeleton spell to help distract. That's not good enough. He still has to pop ability. Oftentimes, one skeleton spell is not enough. Crack heroes or the target inferno towers. You need two, or you might as well just be using freezes and invis. Here we go. He's gonna lala from the left. He's gonna have to lala through the town hall. RC makes her way to the core. She'll take out the sweeper, which is nice. She still have her ability. She does. Ooh. Ooh, and she's gonna go get the scatter with the invis. No way, dude. That royal champion picks up the second scatter. That's so huge. Wow, there's the tornado trap. Everybody gonna get stuck here for a few seconds. Good thing we got some free spells for the town hall. Gonna need to use multiple of them. Gonna time this warden ability perfectly. Boom, pops it right there. Beautiful. We haste our way through the poison. Nice. Don't slammer on the back end. We just got to be able to take out this royal champion and we'll be looking decent. Uh, he doesn't have that many balloons left. He does have a Valkyrie that he just forgot to use. Here we go with the, with the headhunters. We're going to freeze right there. Down goes the royal champion. We got an inferno baby dragon and a dragon rider. 
Okay. Last couple balloons on the right side. Sneaky Goblin. Baby Dragon. Valkyrie is in. It's looking good for Boom of Struck. Minions all over the place, and the base is deleted. Both teams able to start off this match with a three star, and we are all tied up after the first round of attack. Din Din is in with the next attack for X Team, bringing us a little Super Dragon action with that flamey boy Charmander on the south side of the base. Finds a lot of Teslas at nine o'clock, okay? Looks like they were trying to bait the Flame Flinger down hall. He's using the Flame Flinger way over at six o'clock instead. Probably just gonna have to give that Flame Flinger like 10 and a half years to get some decent value here. Where we start the actual super dragon part of the attack archer at six behind to help start funneling some of those buildings nicely done and we just gotta wait be patient once the flame flinger gets you know four or five six buildings we can go ahead and air defense drops cameraman would zoom out so we can see if he's funneling any other corner we can try to determine which side he's going to enter from my guess is 7 30. And go through the town hall early. But we'll see if I'm right about that. There's a barbarian to distract the mortar. A couple archers as well. Nicely done. Nicely timed. So Flame Flinger can get through the mortar. And I was wrong, dude. He's going to finish on the town hall. This guy's ballsy, dude. Stone Slammer. I mean, Stone Slammer. Skeleton spell in early. Warden ability. Rage our way through the Eagle Artillery. Queen goes inside the wall gap. Probably wasn't planned, but well. Out of the CC coming, lots and lots of archers and some super minions. Okay. On the outside, wrap from three up toward 12 o'clock. There is a headhunter on defense hitting his warden. Ooh, the owl gets it just in time, but the multi might actually kill his warden. We're going to freeze it up to stop that from happening. Hopefully, the warden can stay alive. Royal champions in early on the top side to get the scatter shot. Bro, getting this town hall could be sketchy. It could be really sketchy. We freeze the enemy royal champion and the sweeper. The warden died. Queen beating a wall. She switches to a different wall. Bro, he's not going to get the two stop. Or is he? The owl picks up the multi in the core. Ooh, baby. It's going to be up to the queen wrapping all the way around the base. Oh my gosh. We have her ability. We got a bunch of spells. There's a whole Tesla farm at 9 o'clock though. But the king is healthy. We got a couple super drags. Can the super dragons go path into the core? Queen is just beating on a wall again. We got the rage. Oh, go king, go. Yes, one super dragon goes to the town hall. We freeze again. Queen's in there too. Town hall drops. Woo! Man, that was scary. Down goes the air defense. Down goes the storage. He's got queen ability. He's got 21 seconds. It's a three star. Woo! Man, dude, that was a ballsy attack. Finishing on the town hall, so risky, but it works. And X team are two for two. Guys, I also have a mini channel, my second Clash of Clans channel, where I'm posting daily content. Link down in the description below. Go check it out right now. Hit subscribe for even more daily Clash content. Mask is in with the next attack for Strut, bringing us some queen charge, la low action against Gaga's base. All right. Good old fashioned Queen Charge Lalo. Let's see how he does it. Queen starting over here by the Town Hall compartment. One of these boxy style bases. We're gonna walk to the right. We're gonna wall break her in for the expo or skip it at first and wall break in toward like the air defense. He looks like he's gonna try to skip it kind of. Nice Coco Loon picks up a Seeking Air Mine, so he's gonna deploy another one. Might have to already go with the first rage. Ooh, she's getting low. Nice, the Coco Loon finds a second Seeking Air Mine. There goes the Rage. Third Coco Loon is in. We wall break in toward the air defense. Yep, okay. Finds another Seeking Air Mine with the Coco Loon. My goodness, all the Seeking Air Mines are over here. He gets the storage. We rage again. She'll get to the enemy queen. We're gonna freeze the air defense. Save that healer for now. Drop one more Coco Loon. I think we're still gonna lose that healer. Rip, we did lose one. That's not the end of the world. Where are we gonna be? He's got normal wall breakers for the rest. He takes out the multi. Now she can fight the CC troops. Pretty classic. Um, Lava Dog, Headhunter, Archers. He's got Sneaky Goblins going for the Town Hall. Cameraman might not be showing it though. Rip the cameraman. Cameraman, look at the Town Hall, please. You can kind of see it on the left side of the screen. Invisibility spell. Sneaky Goblins will take out the Town Hall. King made a nice funnel on the right. We still got Royal Champ in use. We still got 
sea a siege machine to use. Why did he send that first group of balloons with the Giga Poison? Oh, that was just a bad play. I didn't even pop them. I don't know. We're gonna... But we pop Warden ability early. Royal Champion is in with the Lalo. Queen making her way through the right side of the base. He switches to a Stone Slammer. Drops it up at 12 o'clock. There's a Troll Tesla at 12 that I don't know if he sees. These balloons in the core are taking a lot of damage from the scatter shot. Queen's still looking healthy at least. We freeze the enemy Royal Champion. Does he have Headhunters to take her out? He doesn't. Bro, Mask, what's your plan? Is he just expecting his Royal Champion to take out the enemy Royal Champion? His Lalo's falling apart very quickly. The enemy Royal Champion doing a lot of damage. We take her out, but his RC goes down. It's all up to the Queen and Mask is gonna fail. The Warden dies. Oh my gosh, Queen gets locked on too. Bro, that, that felt sloppy. I feel like he didn't have a good plan for the enemy Royal Champion. It was just a YOLO Lalo. Like he might as well have used Dragon Riders if he was just gonna YOLO it like that. Rip. You see the first fail in this match. And X Team with the lead over Strut after the second round of attacks. How much percent does this get? 87% rip mask. Gaga is in with the next attack. If X team get another three star here, woo, they are going to be heavily in the lead. And he's going with the Inferno baby dragon version of the air spam. Okay. Early battle blimp for the town hall. I'll hide my webcam for a second so you can catch again. X team with lead after that second round of attacks. Up by a star and 13 buildings on percent. The Town Hall has been secured. We deploy the Queen at 6 o'clock, and here we go with the Inferno Babies from the 7 o'clock side of the base. Balloons out in front. King to help the Queen. Early as heck, Warden ability. Nice. We got Skeleton Spells. Lots of them to use to distract the defenses, to distract the enemy heroes. Let's see how he's going to be using them. Lots of single target Inferno Towers as well. <laughs> on this base, so we should be able to distract most of those with these skeletons, which is nice. We poison the super minions. Dragon Riders and Inferno Baby Dragons are just cruising through the middle of the base right now. We're gonna freeze up the scatter shot on the left. King and Queen still looking good on the right side. We still got a Royal Champion to use. We drop the last skeleton spell over that middle single and in target Inferno Tower. Down goes the scatter on the left. Down goes the scatter on the right. If we can clear these Inferno Towers, the base is wrecked. We freeze. We still got a couple more freezes. It's looking good for Jaga. We send Royal Champion on the right. And we get through that last Inferno Tower. That's the only real big threat at the moment. We freeze it up. RC's looking good on the right side of the base. King pops his ability. Queen beating on a wall, doing what queens do best. We lose almost all the Inferno Babies. In fact, we did lose them all. We freeze to keep the Warden alive. RC, can you please go take out the single target in front of the tower? We pop her ability early. Down goes the air fence. There's the tornado trap. She doing the disco dance as she takes out the Inferno Tower. The Expo drops as well. We invis her up. I think we still get it. No more spells. It's all up to these three heroes. RC, Warden go up. Queen's on the left side. She'll be able to get that Archer Tower. RC gets the cannon. RC gets the Tesla. Queen pops the ability. All the defenses are dead. And X team. Plenty of time for cleanup. They get another three star. They are going to be three for three against Strut, the 2020 world champions. How about that? Wow, nicely done from Jaga. Ast is in. But the third attack for Strut and pressure on his shoulders right now. He has to three star, or his team is basically out of this. And he's going with Lalo, finds a bunch of Teslas, all five right away as he sends King and Royal Champion with the Skeleton Spell to go take out the enemy Royal Champion to go get the scatter shot. We're finding all sorts of traps here. Do you have a Valkyrie to help support? No, he's going to have to pop King ability. RC needs to get in there and help do some damage. They actually cleared that Tesla farm pretty quickly though, I'm surprised. Nice, they get through the scatter shot. RC pass to the right, we're getting the CC pool. We're gonna pop that RC ability. We're gonna invis. She gets the expo. Queen pops ability. He gets the town hall. Oh, dude, if only he brought a second invis. RC would have been able to get the eagle artillery and the single target inferno tower. That would have been so clutch. We use the poison spell trying to take out the headhunter. And we start the Lalo from the right side of the base. Here we go. 
one more invis for that royal champion would have been so nice here. Lalo will be able to take out the defending archer queen very quickly, which is nice. There's a tornado trap. We're going to get rid of it early. All the balloons spinning around in circles, so we're going to pop that warden ability. Can anybody go take out the scatter? Yes, they will. Thank goodness. These balloons hitting red bombs in the core. Luckily, the warden ability is still intact. We get through the core. We get through the scatter shot. We rage through the top side of the base. It's a single target inferno tower on the other side, so this is looking good for ass. If that was a multi, it would be doing a lot more damage. Stone Slammer still alive. It's about to pop. There's a lot of balloons there. We're going to freeze on the left. We got a Dragon Rider. Balloons take out the air defense. They're splitting a little bit. He's going to freeze that Wizard Tower. We got one more freeze. The Lava Hound pops on the right side. We're going to have to poison over there for the pups to take out the minions. And I think he's got it, man. This is crushed for Ast. And look at him. He's not even happy, bro. These guys are take this so serious. And they know that they're still behind because of that one fail. They had an 87%, which means they need a defense desperately if they want to stay in this match. And can they get it? Can they defend all these air spams from X team? I don't know. They might not be able to. And even if they do, it has to be below 87%. This one absolutely crushes the base though. Ash with a nice little three star. And now, X-Team with the lead after the third round of attacks, nine stars to eight. Omura is in with a little Lalo action for X-Team. Okay, they're doing a lot of different stuff today. They had their first attack with the Valkyries, then two air spam attacks after that, and now they're switching things up to the Lalo. I like it. A lot of different things. Queen on the top side, but there's a lot of Teslas there. Uh-oh, got a skeleton spell to help her out. A lot of damage early. I think we want her to get the Town Hall. It's gotta be. We gotta be expecting her to take out the Town Hall. We dropped King on the left. Balloon on the right. I don't know if one balloon is good enough. That was a wasted balloon. We can go back inside. Yes. Knives a Tesla. Okay, she should be alright to take out the Town Hall, right? Her ability, I think so. King with a wall breaker on the left. RC is in and pulling the CC troops, though. Ooh, do we have some spells for the RC? We do have two invis, but he's not using them. Use your invises! Oh my gosh, she's on one HP. You better invis right away. Why doesn't he invis? Bro, she could have gotten the single for you. King's not going to get the queen or the scatter. He invises too late. Oh my. Bro, X team with the lead this whole match. They might just be throwing it. Skeleton spell early. Stone slammer in on the left. Here we go. Lalo, big Lalo into the Ego Artillery. It's all or nothing here. He needs to surpass that 87% for them to keep their lead. Stone Slammer trying to take out that scatter shot. Not quite going to be able to do it. The Skeleton Spell did zero damage to that queen. Good thing he's got normal dragons. A double dragon set up there. This Lalo looking sloppy though. The single target Inferno Towers in the core are roasting his balloon or his dragons. We still have a warden ability? Yes, we do. But how are we going to kill this enemy royal champion? We got a headhunter there on the right. Ooh, is it going to take her out? Ooh. The warden ability. Royal champion about to go down. Can the owl finish her off? Owl doing some damage. Yes, down goes the RC. He's got one more freeze. This still get it. Got lots of minions on the south side. Got a freeze spell in the bag. Wizard minions over on the right. Time shouldn't be an issue. Down goes the sweeper. Do we freeze the wizard tower or do we save it for the single? We can save it for the single. No, he uses it early, but the owl was tanking the wizard. I think that was a misplay. But he still might get this. Down goes the expo. Where are the traps, bro? There are the red bombs as soon as I say something. Rip. The single's low. Down it goes. Tornado trap. Uh-oh. But the Warden and the Owl are healthy. Down goes the Expo. He's got it. Look how happy he is. Wow. What a recovery. Homura gets it done. And X-Team are four for four. I live stream almost every single day on Twitch. Go check out the link down in the description below. Absolutely free to follow me on Twitch. You can come hang out with me live, ask all sorts of questions, and chill with me. My heart is in with the fourth attack. Right, he has to triple. I mean, they have to triple out and get a defense on their last defense. That's the only way they win. And he's going in with a little Blizz Lalo action. Okay. Hound, Battle Blimp, Balloons in from the south side of the base. 
Battle Bloom gonna land there next to the scatter shot. Yes. Perfect invis. The rage is deployed. Down goes the scatter. Down goes the queen. How much more value can we get on top of that? Ooh, three wizards go up and die, or two of them. Two super wizards left. Trying to get this expo. And we do on the last shot. Okay, nice. We got the CC pool. I think he already killed the headhunters and the archers from the CC, but we still got the lava hound to worry about. Queen will be able to fight it over here at 7 o'clock. The minion at 6 tells me he wants the queen to go left. And eventually, I think he's going to try to get all the way to that town hall. We'll see if he can make the wall breakers target the perfect wall. There's the poison spell. Queen will take out the pups. If he gets the Sui all the way to the town hall, then I think it's looking good. As he really messes up the Lalo, it should be wrecked. Pretty decent Blizz value. King on the left, Wizard at 9 o'clock to help funnel. First wall breaker was successful. You gotta be careful with the second wall breaker though because of that elixir storage in the compartment where the blimp landed. Might need to wait for that to go down, but she's not stepping up for it. This wall break is gonna be difficult. Wall break is actually gonna be super difficult. Ooh. Queen, where are you gonna step? Oh, this is gonna get really wonky, man. He's gonna have to start freezing or something. Freezes the single. Once the storage is dead, then he can wall break. Oh, the wall break still targets a wonky wall. He's gonna have to freeze again. He should have got the town hall with that freeze, not the builders. Well, no, maybe that was the right call. Queen can pop her ability. He'll get everything he needed to, but it did cost him two extra freezes. And he's gonna lolo from the bottom side. How are you going to send headhunters to the royal champion? Oh, and the balloons going to the core. Oh my gosh, the warden does follow, thankfully. There are really no traps there? Okay, there are the red bombs. Keeps them safe with the warden ability. Nice. Ace the balloons into the scatter. Oh, they're not one-shotting the expo. Oh, but he's got this, bro. It's so wrecked. So wrecked. Royal champion clears everything on the top right side of the base. We got 30 seconds for cleanup. And this base is absolutely crushed. Nicely done from Tryhard. Getting it done for his team. But here comes the moment of truth. Can they get a defense? X-Team about to do their final attack. Belly is in with a final attack for X-Team. Once again, I'm going to hide my webcam show you the stats. X-Team with the lead. They are perfect so far as we start the last round of attacks. And this is going to be a super bowler with P.E.K.K.A. smash attack with the Dragon Rider. Interesting. We got the early Yeti Bomb up at 11 o'clock with the Rage Spell. Does that clear as much as he wanted? Queen on the top side. Healers on the Queen. Guess that was just meant to set a funnel. Warden, Rage Spell, Headhunter to get through this enemy king. We step up, take out the multi. Okay. Looking decent so far. Queen's going to walk to the right. Does he have a plan for the multi? That's right above the Eagle Artillery, because the Queen and the Warden will not be able to reach that over the walls. The wall break again over at 2 o'clock. I think that's going to be where we're going to send the rest of the Smash in to help out. Yes. I guess he's just going to send that Dragon Rider over there. No, he used the Dragon Rider at 3 o'clock. What the? What's the plan for the Eagle and the Multi, then? I guess there is no plan. King walking on the outside of the base. The Smash is making their way inside. Super Bowlers might go for a walk. Hope they go back in. That's good news, at least. The healers are safe from the multi because they stay just far away. Jump spell over the middle. Poison spell for the Super Minions. We pop Warden ability. I guess we could send Royal Champion to that core once we're ready. Down hall awake. King still doing really good on the outside. That Dragon Rider is getting some good value. RC to the core is working. We make everybody invi invisible. We take out the Town Hall. We can jump our way over to the left side. Take out the Scatter Shot. We lose the Pekkas and the Super Bowlers. Super Bowlers are going into the Giga Poison. Everybody going down south. RC going to have to fight the Scatter and the Queen by herself. And we don't have any spells. Oh, that RC is going to die. Oh, pops the ability. Takes out the enemy Queen. RC gets the Scatter. Ooh, it's looking good for Melly. Wow, that RC coming in clutch. And she's still going on the top side of the base. Remember, all they need is 88% for the win. He's already at 81, 82. Oh my. Melly looking good. This is going to be a three star. Down goes the cannon. Queen and Warden beating on a wall. 42 seconds to go. 
she switches to a much better wall, she'll be able to reach everything from that compartment. We pop the ability to help with time. We get through the wall. Down goes the collector. Down goes the cannon. Archers are gonna hop the wall. They'll go take out the pad. 26 seconds. It's a three star all day long. And X team with the perfect war against Strut. Wow. X team eliminate Strut. Strut get third place and walk away with five thousand dollars x team go into the grand finals yo yo 23 is in with a little lalo action here to end the war unfortunately his team is eliminated but let's check out this final attack anyway ice golem queen king on the top side i'll break in at one o'clock okay, okay ice golem queen log launcher to help support all right all right all right skeleton spell to help the queen you can dig it King should go left. We got a Valkyrie to help support. Queen's gonna go to the right with the skeleton spell, helping to distract. Wizard to help her. King, when he pops his ability, hopefully Queen hops the wall. Uh, Queen in such an awkward spot. It's gonna force King around into the core. Means, I mean, the log launcher troops would have cleared the core anyway. We're actually not getting as much value on the left side. Queen pops her ability on the right. We use the Skeleton Spell, Royal Champion over there to help support her. We're trying to get through the scatter shot and the Tesla Farm. We didn't get either of the Sweepers, which is going to make the Lalo a little difficult. Oh, we did get the right Sweeper. The Archers at the last second take it out. And the Yeti Mites from the Yeti take out the left Sweeper. <laughs> okay, I reverse jinxed it. Both Sweepers go down. And here we go with the Lalo, as the Royal Champion and Queen are still alive over there on the right. Nice, we're just going to Lalo straight through the Town Hall. We can start freezing up the Town Hall in the single. RC and Queen gonna have to melt through that Lava Hound and the Pups. We rage through the Town Hall. Off the Warren ability at the perfect time. He's got a heal spell still to help. Where's he use the heal? Be impatient. Where's the heal? Yo yo. We're trying to swag the heal. He's gonna heal right over the Inferno Tower. Okay. Oh, this is so crushed. Dude. My goodness gracious. Haste on the left. Poor Strut, dude. This. That this attack is just absolutely crushing the base. He's gonna swag like four spells. My goodness. They're gonna get 14 stars and lose because of just that one fail. The fact that they could not get a single defense. I mean, it's hard to blame the one attacker that failed, right? You also gotta blame a little bit on the base builders, the testing from all the members. They just weren't able to get a single defense. You gotta think about that as well. Nice try to strut, but they do get eliminated from the tournament let's wait a second here for the war banner to pop up show us who the winner is just to make it official we'll see that it is x team that win this match and they will be moving on to face peru mania in the grand finals and we're going to be looking forward to that match up x ggs destruct but they get eliminated today and we'll see them probably again next month at the next golden ticket event